Hey right, guys, how you doing? So it's uh, another little video of the day. So I've actually um, bought uh, a capture card. So it's just a cheap one, though. So uh, just so I could make my yeah, sword and shield videos a bit better rather than just trying to call them off the TV. So I've um, done like the first part again. So we're going to redo the ones I just did, and um, we'll start from the beginning. So this is the first part. So if you haven't already done so, uh, subscribe and like the video and. Um, I'm gonna show you the first part of it, uh, the of the um, of the shield game. So we're gonna start off with shield, and uh, show you the beginning. So if, you have, if you've already played the game before, you already know what happens at the start. So you can skip ahead uh, from this bit. So we're gonna go right away from the beginning. Starting off now. So you're on the sofa. So uh, you just go look through. Yeah, you're maybe just watching the exhibition match, but you've just seen on your phone, and then your friend comes in. So same again. And you can skip this bit if you want, but. Uh, Basically, if you haven't already done so, just watch through this bit and then uh, and you'll know what's happening. So we're just going to quickly go through these um, these uh, text speeches. So you pause and read them if you want. But say if you've already uh, done this bit, you can just do it when you play the game. If you haven't played the game yet, by all means, just watch it. This is uh, what you do at the start of the game. So all you got to do is when you first start off, is that we're going to get up off the sofa. So you've got to use the analog stick and. Uh, Get off the sofa, and you're going to go into your room. So it's all the way on the right hand side, and uh, you're going to get your bag. So the bag is there. You're going to pick it up by clicking on it. And we're not going to have this bag for uh, very long, as I normally just buy a new one and make you make your character up the way you want later on. Which you can do right from the start. I'm going to show you in this video. There's a few things in the room that you might might not have noticed. Uh, so you can click off this uh, menu. Uh, so a few reasons we might not know, so there's like a big Pikachu toy in this corner. There's also a Nintendo Switch there as well, so uh, it's actually featured in the game. So obviously it's an exclusive uh, game to the Switch, so they've actually put it in, in the game as well. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back outside. And, uh, so the first thing you need to do is you just need to head, head down, down the steps, and then follow hop. So we're going to come down the steps, he should be at the bottom, there he is. So this is kind of all like, the stuff you have to do, uh, no matter what, so it doesn't matter how many times you reset the game, you're always going to go through this, uh, this process. Alright, so you got the Wulu that's uh, breaking the gate, so we'll come back to that in a minute, but uh, we're just going to leave that there. And then we're going to be heading off towards the station to uh, meet Leon. One of the things you can do though if you are like starting a game uh, from the beginning, again I've not done it on this one though it is set as normal, but you can go into settings and you can then uh, change your game speed to fast, uh, which will then all of the speed and the, uh, of the text will go through quicker, you'll you'll move slightly faster as well, so you'll actually be able to get through this process faster. But uh, for this process I've, I've kept, I'm keeping it on normal, so um, that's what uh, it's going to be set as like, by default. And, you probably would want to use it on normal for the first run through at least because you don't want to be rushing through the game you want to try and enjoy it as much as you can and then if you do do it again you change the speed of fast so you can get to the bits that you want, you want to get to a lot faster yeah, I don't know if you've ever noticed as well though when you, when you go in and speak to your, your mom depending on which character you choose uh, whichever like, like skin contrast or uh, hair colour and stuff like that like the, uh, your mom actually gets picked as well and to, to match that so you'll see later on what I mean but uh, for now I don't know why it was completely pointless you go in there you find out that he's at the station you go back out of the house and you're going to now you've got to go to the station so just going to go straight down there again you get stopped at the bottom so it does take a little while to get the game going I think it took me about half an hour to do it uh, to start off with just to get to the bit where you're actually able to properly play the game without having to go through all this Like I say, if you've already done this uh, walkthrough, uh, if you've already done this game from the start, you can skip it if you want, but I'm going to show you where some hidden items are. So um, if you want to, if you're unsure about where all the hidden items are, stick around and um, I'll show you where, where a few of them are in here. So there's a one 
behind the um, behind one of the buildings that you might not know that you might not know about. Right, so again, you can't skip through this. You gotta watch it all. So even if you are like literally going pressing it, it just doesn't do anything. You get through this, these texts, so I can say if you want to read it, you can. Uh, I'm not going to read it out to you though, so I'm just going to go through it. There he is, waving just behind the guy, so he can seize his hand. <laughs> start from. So all the way back again. Just get through what you're seeing. And he runs off as well and now we can run after him again. So now you pick your starter Pokemon, so you've got three to choose from, you probably already know which, uh, which three they are, but they're about to come up, so if you, if you haven't um, played any Sword and Shield and you don't know what uh, what stars they are, they're about to come up right now. Here we go. Right, so we've got Grookey, we have Scorbunny, who I'm going to choose, uh, Sobble, who's the water type. I just get a little quick video of them running around. Little flames coming off his paws. <laughs> and then you stick that he keeps in his hair. <laughs> And now you get to choose which one. So whichever one you choose, it'll depend on which ones they choose. So if you choose a like, squirrel bunny, which I'm about to choose, it means that Hop chooses Grookey, and then Leon's left with Sobble. If you choose Sobble, uh, Hop will choose Squirrel Bunny, and then Leon will choose Grookey. If you choose Grookey, uh, Hop will choose Sobble, and Leon will choose Squirrel Bunny. So whichever one you choose, basically. Leon gets the opposite one, so if you choose the fire, he gets the the, uh, the water. If you choose the grass, he gets the water. If you choose the grass, then he will get... You know, you get what I mean. <coughs> Alright, so I'm calling them Bugs, because basically my favourite Looney Tune is uh, Bugs Bunny, so <laughs> I'm going to call the Score Bunny Bugs. So like I say, so since I've chose Squirrel Bunny, he'll then choose Grookey, so then Sobble will be left with Leon, but Leon ends up with all three of them by the end of the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one he ends up with, it's just the one that he'll be using against you in the, uh, in the final battle once you've done all the gym challenges, because it'll be uh, leveled up to about level 60 or something, and he'll be fully evolved as well. does mean that you need to try and get like a decent grass type to try and fight against Sobble and also because you've cho because I've chosen Squirrel Bunny I also need to get another water type to try and fight against these trials or when, it, when the time comes anyways so usually if you, when you first start off you're not sure what to do but um, with this uh, walkthrough I'll show you the, which are the best types of Pokemon to train up on the start so that when you go to the end of it you'll have 
a variety of different types that are strong that I'll be able to uh, defeat uh, each of the, each of the uh, Pokemon that you got, got to go up against. There is a few different uh, different differences um, between Sword and Shield. There is actually a gym that's different. So on, on this one, the Shield version, um, we'll go against the, uh, the Ghost and uh, Dark gym. We'll end up with a Going against the Gigantamax Gengar because Gengar, Gigantamax Gengar is exclusive to Shield, and on the other hand, Sword will have a Gigantamax Machamp, which is exclusive to um, Sword. So depending on which one you choose, that gym will actually be different. There'll be a different gym leader. So um, when you see them at the start, uh, opening ceremony, which will be on part two, uh, tech video, you'll be able to see them. Uh, there will be a different gym trainer, so if you are using sword and a different gym, gym trainer comes out, you won't go against the, uh, the Gengar, you'll go against the Machamp. So you know, this is the first battle, so you've got to go against Hop, you've got to battle him. You've got, you've got to battle him two times, two or three times at the start. It's like slightly different each time. So the first one's just literally Wulu, because he's got that Wulu already. And he's uh, and he's Sobble, he's just picked up or whichever. Uh, star you, uh, you you've chosen which, to whichever one he's going to get, but uh, it's quite easy to knock both them out because the first one will knock Wulu out in a couple of hits. You'll always gain a level, and then you'll and you'll learn a move that's super effective. So for Squirrel Bunny, you'll learn Ember, that should be super effective against Grookey. And uh, after that, you'll be able to use Ember straight away to win to win the match. Straight away, you get enough experience points to uh, level up. So, 55, so level 6. Like I see, he's going to learn Ember. Now he's going for uh, this starter, which in my case is Grookey. Hmm. So, I'm your sword walk through. I actually did pick Grookey as my, as my um, starter, not uh, Skull Bunny. So, that's why I chose Skull Bunny this time around, because I wanted a different one. Let me know which one you would choose. And we'll uh, see which one's the most popular. I think, I think Skull Bunny's the most popular. If I'm, if I'm honest, right. just going off. Uh, of Use the fire type. To be honest, I think across all Pokemon games, I think that whatever the fire type is, it's always been the most popular. Maybe it's except for the first one. Obviously, there are the Charizard's always everyone's first uh, favorite, but I always used to choose Squirtle. I used to be a big Squirtle fan. I used to love being, being and getting Blastoise. So you defeat him, so just quickly go through it, click through all these. And then... Oh, text more, have you? Oh. I get a copy off of this one. Alright, so this first video is, is, a, is, a bit, is a lot longer than what the rest of them are going to be. This one's an hour. Um, the rest of them are only going to be half hours. I've just done this one twice as long, just basically get rid of the, uh, the first part of it, because the first part of it you can probably skip ahead, um, because it is quite generic, generic, you have to do everything, yeah, you can't really do anything until you've done all of this, uh, all of this anyways. There is a few bits, bits here and there that, that I might not know about, there is two people in one of the stations, you might have seen them, you might have, uh, you might not have, but um, if you've got a uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu save, on the um, on your console, you actually get a, a free Pikachu that can Gigantamax, or a free Eevee that can Gigantamax. Uh, you can't evolve them those because they're, they're, they're meant to be like imported from Let's Go, so they're the same as the ones on there. You can't evolve them on that game. You can't evolve them on this game either. But there is a chance of um, catching Eevees and catching Pikachu's in the wild on this, though. So you can you can get your Raichus and all the all the evolutions uh, later on. 
And even then, you know, if, if you couldn't find them, because you're sometimes they're hard to find. You could just uh, get a ditto later on, and then just breed them, and then get them get the uh, the right, another one that you can evolve through through that, anyways. But anyway, so we're going to go here, but you're back in the by the start. So you've got to go down here. This is probably my least favorite bit about the start. So you've got to go in here and do this. It's, I think it's pretty much pointless to be honest. Uh, you've got to go up here. It takes about ten minutes, and then you end up back at the start again, and then eventually you end up going in. So you've the Wulu that was crashing against the case basically crashed through here, and then you end up encountering a legendary Pokemon. You have Zacian or Zamazena. So if you're on Shield like I am, you'll end up getting a Zamazena um, encounter. You'll always go up against a couple of Pokemon on the way there as well. So I, I would always say just knock them out. Uh, just, just get the experience um, so you get like, a, couple, a couple of levels up on your Pokemon. So if you are in a rush, just skip through them uh, by running away. But I'm going to knock these out, get, get the level experience and then put uh, Skull uh, Bunny's um, uh, level up, hopefully level 8 or 9. But uh, I guess, like I said, so um, if you're going through here, you can end up with uh, and Zacian if you're on Sword, and Zamazen if you're on Shield. So, if yours looks different, that's why. Alright, so we've got the next one, so you end up going against a Rookidy on the next patch of grass. Yep, there he is. So again, we're going to knock it out. Just to get some experience, and obviously it's time to level up. Probably not those only level 2, so we probably won't get that much experience from it. Oh, and just a heads up as well, the next video after this one, I've got another Cosmic Eclipse Booster box coming. It's actually coming today, but uh, I'll not be uploading it until Tuesday. Uh, so look out for that, we're going to open the entire box in one video. I'm not going to do the part uh, three part like I did last time. So we're going to open all 36 packs in one, in one video. And then it'll be the same as last time, just like and comment on that video. And then email me and I'll send you one of the codes. And then... Uh, Hopefully we'll pull some uh, good, good cards in that. But just uh, before then, we're going to get rid of the rest of this. So we're going to go through. Through here and hopefully get to the end. So like I say, if you, if you want to just get to the bit that you want to start playing from, you can skip ahead. But there is a couple of uh, secrets here and there that you might miss if you do that. So if you've got time, just watch the whole video. And um, hopefully find some things that you might have missed out on. And then you might be able to start a new game. Um, a little bit, a little bit more of an advantage than what you did the last time. Some things that you might have missed out the first time you went through. Or well, if you like mainly both both games, you might want to uh, do this. Obviously, replay this, uh, the game again, but on the other, other version. So I completed it on Sword. This is obviously my walkthrough on Shield that I've never um, never played through before. Alright, so here we go, so depending on which, which uh, version you've got, it will be a different Pokemon, either the Sword or Shield, so the Sword and Samizana. It looks a bit bad at the bit of... It hasn't got his big main shield thing. I'm not sure why they've done it this way, but when you get the Nick on, obviously you get the full... Um, the full Pokemon with the full big big shield or Zacian with the big sword. But uh, from the start though it looks like he's been in a lot of battles and he's uh about to pass out I think. <laughs> it's supposed to be I think a spirit of the Pokemon and they're meant to they're meant to be um like asleep somewhere then this is not actually the proper Pokemon, that's why you can't attack it. I think that's what it is anyways. But uh I need a bit on here because uh Zamazenta's eyes actually like light up. So if you watch it in a second, when you fight again, he'll attack back. 
his eyes light up and it's the same thing when he attacks re on, uh, later on in the game as well. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a light up in the eyes and it's the same thing when he does his shield bash uh, attack later on. Alright, so skip through this. It'll go off and then you'll wake up again. That's very bright. Give it a few seconds, there we go. Alright, so Leon finds you. He has no idea what's going on. And you end up going back to the house again. Charizard looks like he's about to eat the sheep, not help it. <laughs> it's like big dragon thing coming down and just taking away his sheep. We just got images of Game of Thrones coming, coming out with us. Let's go through all this again. Get to the end, right? And go off again, you're going to back the house. Do, 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 do. So now you've got to go back in your house, you go talk to your mum, and she gives you some poker balls, she looks at Squirrel Bunny. And then you can go off. So if you like I said before, if you haven't like, if you didn't notice, depending on which character you choose. Uh, the Muhammad looks different as well, so it also looks like the same uh, character. So if you choose one of like white skin and white hair, the Muhammad's got white skin and white hair. Obviously this one tanned and brown hair, so the Muhammad's got tanned and brown hair and she's got a bow in. So depending on which uh, character you choose when you first start the game, the Muhammad's actually different as well. Well, it's slightly different, it's, like it's very similar, but there are some little features that are different. Right, so we go all the way down here, and yeah, now we can finally catch some Pokemon because we've got some Pokeballs. Okay, so you got to go over there to the purple house with a big Pokeball on it. So you can't get past the eggs of Ulu on the way, and you can't actually catch them Ulu, so you got to go through here. Yeah. Anything that comes with an exclamation mark like that, I'll go towards it, it's basically. They're the Pokemon that you can't see, so, so you get the ones that you can see, you can just run at them and you'll have a chance to catch them, but the ones that are in the grass like that, yeah, it's just random. But when you catch them all at the start, you don't actually need to um, weaken them from the start as the levels are that low, so just throw the Pokemon straight out, and it should catch it. And it'll be a lot faster as well. Okay. Alright, so we've got the first Pokemon. You will gain experience from catching Pokemon as well. So we'll take that off. We'll straighten the body. So we've got five, uh, four Pokeballs left. So you're going to get gonna grab this one that's in the middle. Yeah, okay, we'll grab it. So that's a portion. So again, go after the exclamation mark. And it's something different. So now we've got a Grubbin. So like I said, these ones don't pop up on the grass. So you don't know they're there until you actually catch them on the exclamation marks. So if you want to spend a bit of time here, and then find the ones that you want, not rather ones that you don't want. And then you might end up with a Pokemon you didn't know was there from the start. Same again, just throw the boat will pull out though, so it's already caught. Get more experience, level 8. Hmm. If you need a coffee. Give them a quick attack. Okay, again. I'm not going to do nicknames of these Pokemon, I'll just give my star a nickname. So, again, exclamation mark, go over there. It's in the bag, Robin, I'm going to catch it. 
but uh, might as well uh, battle it to get the experience points. So we're going to go Ember, it's going to be super effective because it's Park Rass, Park Electric, I believe. So straight away, knocked out. Everybody gets experience, there we go. So the Grubman I've just caught, level 3 now. And Squavert, level 4, I think it was. Oh. Okay, so there's Ruga D, there's Wooloo there, turn number 21. I'm gonna go for the Ruga D. Here's a final evolution, is really, really good. Uh, there is a gigantic max form of it as well, which I believe is exclusive to Shield. I think. Might be mistaken. Him again, throw the Pokeball out, catch the trade away, get experience points, and then move on. Right, so I'm going to grab this Pokeball. Two paralyzed heals. Okay, so I'm not going to bother Hulu, I'm going to just catch one in later on, but I'm going to go for the exclamation mark. This time it's a, a blip bug. See him again, his final evolution has a Gigantamax form as well. So, um, but you can't actually catch them and, and then evolve them and then make them into Gigantamax forms. It's only the ones that you do in the max raid battles, which we'll do a video on later on. Uh, to show you what that is. But if you already know what that is, then you can just go there, go there and try and find them. Uh, but evolving them up the way doesn't mean that they're going to be the Gigantamax forms just because you've evolved them into that Pokemon. You have to catch them with the ability to do that. And you, if you know they, if you if they have the ability to do that, they have like the big red cross on them when you go on the summary. It tells you that you, you can like Dynamax them. They're going to all be Dynamax, which just makes bigger versions of what they are, but when the form actually changes and they look different, I need a Charizard at the start. Um, they're, the, they're the rarer ones that, uh, that are harder to get. And it's even harder to get shiny versions of them, but it is possible. I've never had a shiny Gigantamax yet, though, but we're going we're gonna to see. We're going to hopefully try and get some later on. With some of the, Depending on what events come up, I might, I might yeah, try and get one. There was a small last I got a max uh, event on uh, recently. Uh, I managed to get a, get a couple on my sword game. I did miss out on the shiny magic card, I must admit. I totally forgot to play the game at the start of the month. Alright, so we were going, anyway, so we're going to go over to the blue um, building that was there and immediately on outside of it. And we've already used all of our poker balls as well, so. In we go, Charizard sneaks up you behind her. And then in we go. Alright, let's take a few waves to get through all this. Watch this through, just keep clicking it. You get through, obviously, if you are the first time going through, you'll be better off reading it because it does give you some clues to uh, what to do next. Um, and different things, like I see, is that cooks, books, and stuff like that. You can do the, the, uh, the camping with the curries and stuff to get uh, different abilities in the Pokemon. Alright, come on. So you got Root on phone. It's gonna turn to Root on Pokedex in a second. <coughs> okay, so it doesn't matter which one you do, just if you uh, say that you don't know it, then you get a bigger description and it tells you um, what it is. But if you already know how to use the Pokedex, just click the first one. Alright, see so where it goes, so we're gonna Oops, oh yeah. Get out the door. There we go. Alright, this guy gives you some um, 
for the fight. Potion, there you go. Just some random person giving you potions. Totally normal. Just taking some random stuff from a stranger that you don't know. Definitely a daily um, thing you would do. <laughs> and there's no hidden secrets here. So we're going to go up the top. Uh, in with the Pokemons there, uh, certainly you have to go in. It's part of the uh, tutorial, as it should say. It's probably the longest tutorial I've ever done on an opening of a game before it lets you just do whatever you want. But I suppose if anyone's never ever played a Pokemon game before, you do need to know all of this, 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 so you have to, they have to include it kind of thing, because if they didn't and then people start playing it, they've never played it before, especially someone that's not that old, maybe if you're like seven or eight years old, you never played the game before, or any of the previous ones, you're not really going to know what to do, and I know like kids like obviously that age get a bit frustrated quite easily, and then you're just quitting and never playing it again, I suppose. But then on the other hand, if you're going through all of this and you're getting frustrated because you have to go through all <laughs> Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Alright, so healing up. Come on, dog here. Right. Get you, lie down. Alright, so here we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way to the end of the corner here. In here, and you're gonna get a poker ball. So you might not have known that this was yet. It's basically a poker doll, so. This helps you when you if you go ever go against a Pokemon that's too strong and you get away from it. And then we're gonna go in the boutique. So I like to uh, change my character from the start, so we're gonna um come in we'll say red and white. So we're gonna get all the red and white stuff. Let's check through here. Yeah, it's a red one right at the start, so you click on the one you want. And then just keep doing that the same one. So we're gonna go over the white hoodie. And just go play around, just uh, edit your card out any way you want, and then um, come out of it. So it just makes the card look a bit better from the start. Because the stuff you get from the start, I don't really like, especially the bag, I don't think it looks that good. And you get like 30,000 like, worth of, of uh, coins right from the start, so it's quite a lot of money. And uh, you don't really need that much, uh, to be honest. Uh, you end up getting very rich on uh, Pokemon about very little effort. I think I've got about half a million on, on my uh, sword game because I just don't spend it, like you don't really need it like, uh, the only thing I really spend it on is revives potions and pokeballs but uh, you get a lot of them from like other like, currencies like your, um, like your watts and things like that and your actual money you don't end up spending that much so you can spend this from the start and make a guy look a lot better these are probably the most expensive items because later on, you, you can, uh, when you go to different places, you get other stuff if you want to change them again, and then it, get, and it gets more expensive as long as you get in, as far as you get in the game. But, uh, for now, we're going to go with the red and white and uh, some jeans and black shoes. And we'll change the hat as well. Standard uh, white one. Nope. We're gonna go for black. Yeah, we'll go for the black one. Black one. Black one. Mm. And gloves. White gloves. White gloves, Dexter. White gloves. No. Shh. No. Right, so after, you've, after you've done that, if you want to do, you go back up the top and then you talk hop again. I will click on the top one and the bottom one, you start to explain what it is even more detail than he does here. Alright, 
so. All the way down here, there's actually a hidden item here as well, so if you're going to start, get the revive there. And then he's going to show you how to catch Pokemon even though already caught five. Do end up getting uh, more Pokeballs up Leon here though, so you get 20 more Pokeballs, so. Now that we've uh, run out, it's a good time to get some more, so he gives you 20 more. So we can start catching more Pokemon again. There we go, 20 Pokeballs. We want the Pokeball bag. exclamation marks catch more Pokemon so low type this one's actually an exclusive Pokemon shield so if you're playing on sword you, you get a, a, a I think it's sea docks and Nuzleaf are the ones that you get on sword instead So you don't need to be like fully weakened, you can weaken a little bit. And then full the Pokeball. Alright, let's put him on cycle. Okay, the control is still uh, connected from where I was. Alright, so we're going to skip through that, level it up, and then we'll carry on without the dog. Okay, I'm actually going to swap them though, so we're going to um, change them for, I think, Squavert. Squavert. I can never pronounce his name, so Squavert. Squavet? We'll, we'll, we'll go with Squavet. And there is a lot of um oh was that oh no. I thought that was a hoot hoot. <laughs> it's not though. <laughs> oh, we'll just quickly knock it out. And then we'll uh carry on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is the end of your first battle against a random trainer. It's this one here. So it is good to do the battles from the start as well, so you can see again the levels of Pokemon up. Everyone likes doing battles, so. Youngster Jake. He's Wobet. Here goes Bugs. There's a couple of hits we will get knocked out eventually. I'm gonna go with quick attack on the next move. Basically, if you know the quick attack's gonna be strong enough to uh, knock it out, then basically you can't do it because it, it lets you go ahead if you can as well. So if, you, if that Pokemon's not meant to go for its next attack, but lets you select your move, then you have a chance of uh, hitting it again in two in a row. Because of uh, quick attack's like, speed ability. Oh, 
Alright, so I'm just going to go over the top of your head to get this Pokeball. Not going to bother with getting any more Pokemon out of the grass. Uh, we've pretty much seen them all uh, that you can get from here. There is a Hoot Hoot in there somewhere, but it is a rare one to get. So if you wanted to um, stay around these areas and get one, you can, but to be honest, you can get one later on if you really have to like Pokemon. I quite like Hoot Hoot, so I, I, I like Knock Tower. Hmm. Anyway, so we've got another another battle. Against Lauren. And she's got a tutor. 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 Alright, just gonna quick attack it. No, but hasn't got any uh, water moves. Doesn't look like it does. Ooh, very tired today. And Jules being in. Right, everyone's gonna get leveled up right now. Down here, you've got one more battle to do that you have to, you can't avoid this one. And you can see Hop in the background there, just in the back. I don't know why I'm pointing to it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you, might, you might see him in the background. This time with Flip Bug, which is a grass type, which is perfect. Put on your African juice. Ember. And boom, one hit. Knocked out. See you later. My blood bug just got a level increase. Nick it. Yeah. I think we're weak against fighting moves, I believe. Oh, quick attack me. Ember. Uh, quick attacks is how you can do it, so you end up doing two attacks in a row. As long as the, uh, that's your select, select quick attack, it'll do it straight away. Even if you've already attacked. Hmm, here we go. So. There's a difficult Pokemon in there, but I'm going to go at the back, get this uh, hidden item, the Repel. And then we're going to go straight in the top of here, and we're going to go for more, more text. Skip for all this. They're basically talking about the Dynamax and ability uh, that's just been discovered. Right. Now you've got to um, convince Leon to endorse you into the trainer challenge because you need an endorsement. Everyone, you can't just enter it apparently, you have to be endorsed by somebody. So he's like, no, no, no. Can't be doing that, but we'll we'll have a battle, and then if you impress me, basically I'll endorse you. So we're gonna go outside. Before that, we're gonna go around the end of the building, all the way around, and there's another hidden item uh, back here. So we can pick that up. So it's the TM57 payback move. So if you want to 
trade air, uh, use that to any of your um, Pokemon you can. Basically, it means that if, if your Pokemon gets damaged, then you use that. Whatever damage you got in the last turn, you will then deal double damage back to, uh, to the Pokemon that hit you first. Hopefully, you go the wrong way. Right, so go by your speed to hop, and then you battle them again. Okay. So if you hobble over with a little uh, duck walking stick thing, or I think it's a, I think it's a rookie or a crow fight or something like that. Alright, so again, but this time he's got three Pokemon and not just a, not just two, so it's the same order as last time. Wulu first. And then I believe that whatever star you've ended up picking for him. And then he has a Rookie D as he's the little Ember Wulu. A couple of levels higher than what it was the uh, first time we battled. But so am I, I'm level 10 now, so good, so quick attack it. It should knock it out. There we go. Three. Everybody levels up. Well, a lot of people do anyway. Yeah. Dude, now I'm sending out his groupie, which should be a higher level again. Level 8 it is now, he's leveled up slightly. But we're gonna go Ember again, this should do a lot of damage, or if not loads. Oh, well, he will has not allowed. But yeah. Uh, seems he's doing really good at matchups. Seems you're not because you picked the wrong button. Let's ember it again. Okay, load that one to learn mist. So we'll let it learn mist. We'll get rid of uh, growl, I think. We'll get rid of growl. Right. Oh. He's going to use his Ruga D now. Almost at the end of this video, about 10 minutes. Like I say, if you wanted to get past this faster, change the setting speeds uh, to fast play, and you'll. Uh, Everything will go through a lot faster and you'll be able to get to the end of this bit. In about. I think it's, I think it'll still take about half an hour though, I think it'll still take about 30 minutes. Even if it is on fast. Depending on how much time you spend on each bit. If you just go straight through it and don't catch any Pokemon and go right at the end. As fast as you can, you might get a little bit quicker, but you've still got to go through all the summon wheels back and forth from the station and all of that. Uh, you've still got to do all of that so. It does take a while to get through it all. I have to really skip through this. <laughs> so again, yeah, oh that's amazing. So it gives you the invisible the invisible letter of endorsement. Same in. Oh my god, why is that? Okay, so you rush over and find out what it is, and it is a wishing star, I believe. Which in turn turns into a uh, Dynamax band, which means you can then grow your Pokemon. <laughs> I 
Okie dokie dokie, you click through all this, basically tells you that you, you can't do it just yet, they need to be changed into a proper plan, so you need to steal the night, and wait for it to come in the morning, so... What we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that, we're gonna quickly click through all this, load and load the token, and then wait for that, the next morning, We'll come up now. Oh, not bad. Okay, it's morning at last. Okay, do we? Okay, about the boat one they found in there, weird, heavy, heavy fog. All that, yada, yada, yada. And there you go, you get the invisible bands out of a hand. Look at the up. Dynamax band, the wishing star. Then a fix to it, that's your Dynamax Pokemon. Here we go, back to the station. So, before that, though, we're going to go all the way around here. We're going to pick up a bottle of fresh water and we're going to go up here and we're going to get this poker ball here, which is actually a great ball. <laughs> and then, after that, you can. Um, fish from the start as well, so you've actually got a fishing rod, but before that you've got to go through another little tutorial about sneaking through the grass, because if you sneak through the grass very slowly, end up in a crouch down position, the Pokemon that are on top won't see you unless you press the uh, analog stick to whistle, and here he goes, he's off again, runs away. Uh, it's almost at the bit where you can start doing it on your own, but we're going to catch a magic up. So fishing, you wait until the exclamation mark comes up. So waiting, 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 and there we go. So there he is, magic up. So I want a magic up from the start because I want to get a Gyarados. So we're going to go with Pokeball. And then we're going to swap him for one of the Pokemon in the party, and he's going to just—he's going to be pretty much useless until, uh, until he evolves at level 20. So who to swap him for? Let's have a look. So go through the Pokedex or the Rotom decks, and we're going to swap him for. Let's see, we'll swap them for Grubbin, I think. Should it be Grubbin? Yeah, we'll go with Grubbin. I think, no. Nick it, Nick it. Yeah, Nick it's a better choice. I'm not. It's not the best Pokemon, Nick it, but. Anyway, so if you want to battle against any of them or any of these, any of these other grass types, you can. Uh, any of these grass type uh, wild bits to get more Pokemon, have a little look around if you want. There's a Yampa here though as well, so Yampa is quite good as well because it's a uh, it's evolved form. Uh, God, God again. Bolt, 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 bolt something. It's quite, quite a fast, quite a good electric type uh, to get. So we're going to weaken it this time though because it's on level eight already. So we're going to go. One attack, so we can it slightly, and then four feeders will capture it. Right, there we go, straight away. Again, we're going to swap it. This time, probably will swap Grubbin. Because um, the rest of them I do want to keep because I want different berries of um, Pokemon. Ooh, cold. Right, here we go. So, Grubbin. 
because Blip Bug evolves into a Psychic and, gra and Grass type. Grubbin's electric and Grass type, so um, well, this one's electric. I've already got a Low Tower's Grass type as well, so that's kind of two Grass types anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of Grubbin. And then all the way back up here, yeah, I don't want to get like stuck in any of them. Um, any of the grass, I'm going to use that repel that we got before. And then, so just keep the Pokemon off. You're the only ones that will uh, end up yeah, them going against are the ones that you run into. So if you run straight into the Pokemon, you'll still battle it, but you shouldn't like that. But you shouldn't um, go against any if you're just uh, going through the grass. There shouldn't be any exclamation marks that come up at all. Alright, so we're just going to skip through that one, I want to get to the end, so we're going to go... Well, the repels wore off anyway, so we're going to get all the way through here. Hopefully we won't get stuck, so wait for them. Yep, there we go, shoot through. Back to the station again. All the way back down. There he is. Don't know why this is a pointless bit. I mean, could have just met you there, but I don't know. He wants to wave at you and waste number ten seconds. And waves again. And here we go. Back down. You meet him there. There is one thing that you can do when you get in here. Like I mentioned before, this is where you get the Pikachu and the Eevee. So if you want a Pikachu and an Eevee, you have to have a Let's Go save. Uh, so if you've got a Let's Go Pikachu save, you can get a Pikachu. If you've got a Let's Go Eevee save, you can get Eevee. If you've got both, you can get both. I don't have either, so, so um, I can't get either one, but I'll show you what, who to talk to to get them. So, I'm going to go into the station. You need to talk to your mum again. <laughs> the last time, they give you the camping equipment that you can use to make curries and stuff. There you go, camping equipment. Da, 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 da. Just keep going, click all the way through this, and then eventually. Off, oh, off, see you later, goodbye. And then we're off, come on, let's go, come on. And then we're on the train. Right, on the train, just gonna go through the uh, wild area. It tells you that there's Pokemon there. Basically, you can get any Pokemon you want eventually once you get through enough of the game. And there's camping sites and fishing sites as well. Uh, so, once you get there, you can have a look around. And there's loads and loads of different Pokemon you can get, and then just make up your own, your own party Pokemon. But these two people in the corner, you just, just zoomed out on. The other two you need to uh, click on if you want the Pikachu or the Eevee. So we're just going to quickly do that now. So yeah, we've basically it's stuck. You're not where you want to be. You've got to walk through the, the wild area to get there. Because there's Wooloos on the tracks. You can see them behind you. But here they are. These are the two. So if you've got Eevee, you talk to the guy, you'll get an Eevee. If you, get, if you have a Pikachu save, you'll get a Pikachu. But obviously I don't have them, so it doesn't work. And, uh, and if you speak to this guy, it seems like my children... Let's go experience, do you have any ideas? That gives you a, a, a sort of a hint towards it. And then, if you talk to this person here, she'll give you some more Poké Dolls uh, if you want to use them in here, which is quite a good idea to get them for because if you end up going against any Pokémon that are really, really strong, because they're all like high level ones that you can't actually like, catch just yet when you get in there, you can use that to get rid of them. But we'll show you that in the next video, though. So basically, this is. Uh, the wild area. So I hope you've enjoyed the first uh, part of the walkthrough. We're going to show, show you the next part uh, tomorrow. And uh, remember to subscribe, like, comment on the video, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Goodbye.